Here's a quick video just to show you how to make a file smaller using Handbrake. So uh, this is a program I've downloaded it off the internet. You can just Google it to find it. Um, I'm going to go on my desktop where I have a movie file. Here it is it's called the race car game. I produced this in Final Cut Pro. Uh, when you open it up, so just to show you again to, oh, to open it up, I said open, went to my desktop and then found the file where I'd saved it. I double click it, it opens up. I can see this is the video. So um, there's really only one thing to do to make the file smaller and there's lots of nuance to how this program works, but just to explain it simply, uh, if you click on the video button, we're gonna just reduce the number, the, the amount of space that the video takes up on a hard drive uh, for every second. Uh, so that's this thing here, the average bit rate in kilobits per second. So I'm gonna click that and uh, 6,000 is the default. I'm gonna turn that down to maybe 1,200. It is gonna reduce the quality of the, the video slightly. Uh, it's still, if it's a 1080p video, it'll still stay 1080p. Um, but it'll just sort of uh, look a little more blocky potentially, but mm, once it's uploaded to Google Drive, no one will really notice. So I'm gonna make sure two pass encoding is checked and first pass turbo pass. And then it's asking where should it save it? So right now it's gonna put it on my desktop and it's basically got the same file name. If I wanted to change where that is going or change its name, I'm just gonna say browse and choose a different place to put it, but my desktop is fine for now. And then you push start and it starts. It passes through the video twice and it counts up this percentage thing twice. It was a bit, a bit boring to show you, but then the, you'll have on your desktop um, a video with the same name, .mp4, instead of, well, sometimes you're opening a .mp4 file and saving it, so you might need to call it uh, the same file name but with a 2 in it or something, or the word compressed. You might have to change the file name before you push uh, start. And that's it. So it'll run through once this is completed uh, to 100% twice, it, it'll go first pass to 100% and second pass to 100%. It'll let you know it's done and boom, you'll have a file on your desktop. It'll be considerably smaller than whatever iMovie or Final Cut Pro produced and then it's faster to upload if you have slow internet or uh, a lot of people using your internet at the same time. Hope that helps.